assalamu alaikum dear students how are you i hope all of you are well and safe by the grace of almighty allah i have come again before you after month after one month sleep it and it is a matter of um, it is a good, there is a good news all of you know that already have known that uh, you your classes will be open again on 30 march so uh, i think all of you are you are eagerly waiting to join the classes and enjoy the classes i all i'm also waiting for this day in the previous class i um I have discussed in um, lesson one of unit seven. Today, I will uh, discuss lesson two. Uh, the title of this lesson is "Traffic Capital of the World." In the textbook, uh, it is given that. It is an article written by a foreigner who was working in the capital city Dhaka uh, as an uh, <coughs> employee of a uh, human rights organization. Uh, he write, he wrote uh, this article entitled "Welcome to the Traffic Capital of the World." Actually, it is his uh, experience in the in the Dhaka city uh, of when he was. Uh, working uh, on uh, in the city in, in, in dhaka now let's uh, see what uh, what he was experiencing uh, about in, uh, in in dhaka about traffic jam let's start i am in a tiny steel cage attached to a motorcycle stuttering through traffic in dhaka bangladesh Here I is uh, the writer, Michael Hobbs. Writer, um, so uh, as you know, already you have known that it is an, uh, it is his experience. So uh, he has written that uh, uh, article. So he write, writes in first person. I am in a tiny steel cage attached to a motorcycle, stuttering through traffic in Dhaka. Uh, he was. Uh, it's obvious that he was in a vehicle. Uh, it was uh, like a steel cage to him because he uh, he was he has not he had not seen this type of vehicle before so uh, he described the the vehicle like this tiny steel cage here tiny means small steel cage plus two meter cycle stuttering through traffic in dhaka the vehicle, the traffic was stuttering stuttering means um moving uh stuttering means faltering or uh, in bangla we can say thame thame chala or if we um, tell if we say in terms of speech um, we can tell kutlami kutlamo babbling okay so in the last 10 minutes we have moved forward maybe 3 feet inch by inch the driver wrenching the wheel left and right wriggling deeper into the wedge between a delivery truck and a rickshaw in front of us uh dear learners uh, listen to me attentively because i will not write the meaning of the, uh, today uh, if you need you you can jot down in your uh, script before you uh, i will tell i will tell only the meaning of the difficult words in the last 10 minutes we have moved forward maybe 3 feet inch by inch the driver is branching the wheel left and right here branching means turn taking a, a sudden turn okay branching means what what is the meaning of branching taking a sudden turn wriggling deeper into the wedge 
drilling, uh, branching and leveling uh, are almost uh, at the uh, same uh, similar meaning. Wriggling means also uh, taking a uh, sudden turn or uh, quick turn deep deeper into the wedge. Uh, deeper uh, when uh, the, the traffic ta uh, takes a turn in the gap of a this uh, this line this this uh, sentences takes the meaning the, uh, like that the uh, traffic has taken uh, it takes a sudden turn um, into the gap of, between a delivery truck and a rickshaw in front of them okay up ahead the traffic is jammed so close together that pedestrians are climbing over pickup trucks and through empty rickshaws to cross the street before them the traffic is so jammed jammed so close together tightly jammed that pedestrians are climbing over the pickup trucks and through empty rickshaws to cross the street the pedestrians the workers who uh, who work in the road are the pedestrians pedestrians have no way uh, but to climbing uh, to cross the road they have to climb over the pickup trucks or empty rickshaws Two rows to my left is an ambulance, blue light spinning uselessly. Spinning means lightning off and on. Two rows to my left is an ambulance. Uh, two, after two rows uh, beside uh, the writer's vehicle, uh, an ambulance uh, was also standing, uh, spinning or lightning off and on uselessly. This is what the streets here look like. From seven o'clock in the morning till until ten o'clock at night. This is the common scenario. Uh, every day, every day, four sabda jaka. If you are rich, you experience it from the back seat of a car. If you are poor, you are in a rickshaw, breathing in the exhaust. Whether you are a passenger of a car or who are you are a passenger of a rickshaw, this is the same. You have to stay. Stay is still on the on the back on the car or a rickshaw, breathing in the exhaust. You should, you may feel tired, boredom. Exhaust means tiredness, boredom. Okay. Uh, I am sitting in the back of a CNG, a three-wheeled motorcycle shaped like a slice of pie and covered with scrap metal. Uh, now uh, he is telling the name of the vehicle on which uh, he was carrying. On which, uh, I, uh, the vehicle was a CNG. Okay. He was sitting in the back of a CNG, a three-wheeled motorcycle. What is CNG? It is a um, vehicle uh, that is run by uh, compressed natural gas and that is three wheel. Uh, so he described uh, this vehicle like this, a three-wheeled uh, motorcycle shaped like a slice of pie. That is, it looks like a pie or a cake or a slice of uh, a piece of bread and covered with scrap metal and it has a, a metal cover over it uh, I am here working on a human rights project but whenever I ask people in Dhaka what they think international organizations should really be working on they tell me about the traffic What is he working for? He is telling here that I am here working on a human rights project. He was a he was working for a human rights organization. But whenever, but uh, he again he is telling that he whenever he asked people about their problem, every time and every almost all people 
what else about the problem of traffic jam okay <coughs> alleviating traffic congestion is one of the major development challenges of our time alleviating means removing eradicating dur kara in bangla we can say dur kara alleviating traffic congestion congestion means gathering traffic jam in easy in easy terms you can say traffic jam is one of the major development challenges of our time it means not telling that it is one of it is um, uh, one of the major development challenges of our time traffic jam is uh, is a common scenario in, in, in not only in dhaka city but also in our city too uh, you know all of you know that uh, when uh, whenever we uh, we come out of our houses and go to the road or we want to go uh, and we want to take a long trip uh, we experience the same thing half the world's population already lives in cities and the united nations estimates that the proportion will rise to nearly 70% by 2000 50. Here is a survey. Half the world's population already lives in cities. And the United Nations estimates that the proportion will rise to nearly 70% uh, by 2050. Okay. Dhaka, the world's densest and fastest growing city, is a case study, study in how this problem got so bad and why it is so difficult to solve. Now, here is an interesting information. Dhaka is, is a, has become a, 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 thing of case, uh, a matter of case study uh, how this problem got so bad and why it is so difficult to solve and studying uh, Dhaka or experience of Dhaka uh, uh, one can uh, understand uh, how the, uh, this problem of traffic is the problem of traffic congestion uh, got so bad and why it is so difficult to solve. Dhaka's infrastructure does not match the scale of its population. Here in, in infrastructure means the structure, the structure of, uh, of of a place or of a institution. Uh, for example, if you tell the infrastructure of your college, the buildings, the classrooms, the equipments uh, with which the classes uh, is taken, classes are taken. All of these things are called infrastructure. Here, Dhaka's infrastructure does not match the scale of uh, 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 the infrastructure means the buildings, the roads, and the high and um, highways, um, the um, institutions, the uh, uh, medicals, everything are the infrastructure of Dhaka. Uh, in Bangla, you can say uh, the meaning of the infrastructure of Okatamu does not match the scale of its population this, uh, that means that the infrastructure of Dhaka is not sufficient uh, to uh, sufficient uh, as the proportion of its to the proportion of its population okay? just 7% of the city is covered by roads compared with around 25% of the region Vienna this uh, this information tells us that the roads of Dhaka city is not sufficient okay, to less compared to the compared to the roads of region Vienna. Dhaka also suffers from the absence of a planned road network. Another thing is Dhaka Dhaka's road network is not planned or unplanned. Uh, there are 600, 650 major intersections 
but only if 60 traffic lights many of which do not work the intersection means the point that join a point uh, where the uh, two or three uh, many routes join okay uh, in bangla uh, intersection means jukshutra but only 60 traffic lights many of which do not work compared to the intersections where so there are traffic lights are not efficient too less there are too less uh, traffic lights in Dhaka city that means the police force is not enforcing driving or parking rules there are this is another problem the police if there were sufficient traffic lights intersections uh, this uh, this will indicate this uh, will indicate that the police force enforce uh, enforce driving or parking rules but uh, the lacking of um, uh, traffic lights uh, indicates that the, uh, the police force do not enforce driving or parking rules they are in the inter intersections directing traffic their work is uh, the uh, the main work of the police force the police or uh, the, the traffic police uh, only direct the traffic they do not uh, implement the driving or parking rules the cost of the traffic congestion is estimated at 3.8 billion US dollar a year and that's just the delays and air pollution not the less tangible losses in quality of life less tangible means less visible or less felt the cost of the cost traffic transition is estimated 3.8 billion US dollar billion AR and that is just this cost is uh, just for uh, only for the delays and or uh, and air pollution the other uh, the other thing are uh, neglected here no, less tangible less important losses uh, are not included here only for the loss of uh, only the losses uh, for delays and air pollution is how much 3.8 us dollar billion paradoxically the poor infrastructure is one of the reasons why that city is going so fast actually means contradictorily uh, <coughs> contrarily uh, the oppositely you can say almost oppositely the poor infrastructure is one of the reasons why this is called paradoxically and um, it may seem that the poor uh, the, the poor infrastructure cannot go uh, the city fast but contradictorily but the, these things this the poor infrastructure is the reason why the city is going so fast without roads or trains to whisk them to the suburbs Dhaka residents no choice but to crowd into the middle set up slums between high rises and work to work without roads or trains to whisk them whisk means here to take them uh, to sweep them <coughs> to the suburbs <coughs> to the urban areas uh, near the city uh, are called uh, suburbs those areas Dhaka residents no choice but to crowd into the middle this uh, the this uh, sentence or this uh, tells us that um, much as but to crowd into the middle it means they cannot uh, their communication system is not good they had to stay uh, if they uh, want to stay in their residence uh, that are located in suburbs uh, they, they had to face many problems uh, like their um, communication system is not good they, um, they have to spend uh, more pe uh, hours in, or they cannot reach the workplace at the right time so they have to stay in the, in the city so the 
UCT is going so fast and set up slums. Why uh, they had to set up? Why they had to set up slums? Uh, the low-income people had to set up. Uh, had to live in the slums between high rises and walk to work. And they had to. Uh, they had to. Uh, they had to go to their uh, workplace uh, on foot. Today I will not finish the whole text. And the remaining will be discussed in the next class. Uh, okay. Now. Uh, Now let us do some exercises. I hope uh, all of you are acquainted with the item flowchart. Uh, though, although you know the rules of this uh, of this item uh, flowchart, I will tell. I will repeat it again. Some major rules of Flowchart. You have to at first you have to to write a flowchart. You have to you have to draw some boxes. If you have to write six clues, you have to draw six boxes. The clues must be in, must not be sentence. Okay, the clues must not be written in complete sentences. You have to uh, keep in mind that the clues will be may, may be in one word or in phrase or that may start with uh, gerund or participle. Or uh, present or first participle or infinitive form. You cannot write the clues in complete sentence. That means in this clues, uh, there are there are 
there <coughs> must, must not have a subject and a verb. Okay. At first, you uh, have to read the question uh, and understand what is uh, what you are asking. <coughs> read the text and complete the close chart focusing on the causes of perfect congestion in Dhaka city. <coughs> we have already uh, we, we have already read many causes of the perfect congestions in Dhaka city. Uh, one is Dakas poor infrastructure. Insufficient number two, you can write insufficient traffic lights. Number three. <coughs> Not enforcing driving or parking rules. First going city. Last one is lack of. Proper communication system in the suburbs. I am telling the clues again. Number one, poor in infrastructure. Number two, insufficient traffic lights. Number three, not enforcing driving or parking rules. Number four, fast growing city. Number five, lack of proper communication system to the suburbs. You can also add uh, of your own clues. Uh, if you, you have, you can uh, point out from the text. Now, dear learners, I will finish uh, the class today here. Uh, uh, I hope we will meet again in the classroom uh, in the um, college. Uh, till now, Allah Hafiz.